Okay, so welcome back to the channel and in today's video we are talking about Celine's latest collection. <laughs> So to start, I will put the show notes on the screen because it gives better context on the location of the collection. And therefore, I don't believe I need to go into the details of that as you can just read that on the screen and pause the video. So in this collection titled Dans Paris, which translates to In Paris, Eddie Simon returned to the brand's Parisian roots. This is true from the locations of filming to the aesthetic of the clothing itself. The film was shot in two historical monuments within Paris. The first took place in a restored 18th century building. In the press release, the team actually highlighted that this was the first show and campaign photographed in a space since it had been restored. The rooms were initially used to present royal collections to French and foreign visitors. And it makes so much sense why Celine has recontextualized this location in a modern setting. Celine is essentially modern luxury for Parisians and beyond. The second location in the film is in a hotel that was historically used for the reception of head of states during official visits in Paris. When looking at the collection, Eddie Slimane and his team at Celine took everyday essentials and refined them with a touch of nice tailoring. This came in the form of everything from jeans, sequin mini dresses and blazers to leather trousers and tweed jacket. Aesthetically, it gave an extreme Parisian chic that matched the Parisian heritage of the set. Now, something that Adi Simon always does is he is able to mix the high with the low. So in this collection, there's a piece that has a t-shirt with a very extravagant cape and then it's paired with denim and cat eye sunglasses. It's this idea to merge this couturier-like garment with something that's an everyday essential like denim or sunglasses that can easily accessorize an outfit. And this was definitely a theme that you see across the collection and it's a theme that you can see in past Adi Simon collections as well. Leah Hennessy created the music for the show and is also in the process of releasing a first album. And that's one thing I've always liked about Adi Simon and his work and just what he does. He has this ability to tap into underground cultures and tap into up and coming bands and artists. And those are the people he works with. It's very unlike other luxury brands. For example, I recently went to the Celine flagship store in London and I was quite fascinated by the unique sculptures and artwork that I saw when I was in the store. There's an artist called Nika Nilova who's from Russia and she created sculptures for the store in London. And it's sort of made of these reclaimed banister handrails and a lot of them are suspended from the ceiling. And then there's a Ugandan sculptor called Leela Babirai. And a few of her things were also commissioned to be in the Celine store. And it's just something I see as a very different approach to the likes of a Prada or a Louis Vuitton that usually commission the largest names to work on their projects. When you think of people like Rem Koolhaas or Peter Marino, not like I have an issue with them, it's just a lot of luxury fashion brands, that's the direction they tend to go. They just tap the biggest names and it is quite uninspired because all the brands tend to do that. And that's why I've always liked Adi Simon's approach as quite different. It's searching for the underground artists. It's searching for what are the subcultures. It's searching for the new thing. It's way more fresh than just getting some like already established, someone who has this a vision that everyone knows and it's quite obvious. I just prefer um, what's done at Celine. And while yes, Every single time I talk about Celine, I feel like there's, there are already a million people like, I prefer Phoebe Philo's time at Celine. Well, the thing is, they are kind of similar and very different at the same time. Phoebe Philo made amazing silhouettes and her styling was impeccable. And that's a lot of the reason why people love Phoebe Philo's Celine. But the thing about Phoebe Philo's Celine was it was really commercial. Phoebe Philo was not the type of designer that was a storyteller and really breaking down deep collections like a Tebe Magugu or a Rick Owens. That was not what Phoebe Philo did. She made really commercial clothing that everyone could wear that was amazing and was unique for especially a lot of the footwear, the accessories. Um, and what Adi Simon is doing is he's doing the same thing. It's quite commercial in nature. It's just where the ideas come from is different. Adi Simon regularly looks at youth subcultures and what they're doing. For example, in his Spring Summer 22 menswear show titled Cosmic Cruiser and held in the south of France, 
He looked to styles of youth subcultures from the 70s and he tapped a group of motocross riders to add to the rebellious edge and feel of the collection. When looking at the garments, the collection had a very bohemian energy to it and there were youthful quotes on garments across the collection. Another example for the Spring Summer 21 menswear collection titled The Dancing Kid, which I have reviewed in the past, so definitely check that video out if you haven't seen it. But in this collection, he looked at modern subcultures, especially subcultures on TikTok, looking at styles of famous fashion TikTokers and e-boys. And this idea and sort of obsession with the youth and what the youth are doing is something that has always been present in Adi Simon's work. And it's kind of what I like because it's what makes him unique, is what sets him apart. But on that note, let me know what you think about this collection. And if you want to learn more about fashion, I have an ebook on effective ways to learn about fashion on my website and the link to that is in the description below. Thank you very much for watching and I'll be back with another video very soon.